camera. Hello, everybody. How y'all doing? <clears throat> We're here behind the scenes with the Leo King. Boom. And the lovely Leah. We are here doing a making experience behind the scenes. Yes, we're we're actually gearing up for a fucking awesome event. A live, the awakening experience live, but when you say live today, everybody thinks it's always just online, but live in person. Yeah, live in person. And live stream, too. Yeah, and live stream on YouTube and Hive Eye yes. TV. This is going to be fun. <clears throat> I would actually honestly like to eventually start doing it like regularly. Yeah, I mean, that's the that's what we're going to be doing, especially if you think of all the TV's done. But that doesn't mean spiritual TV. This is the beginning of spiritual TV with live audiences and live streaming. But really, it's broadcasting. Mm -hmm. That's the whole, like, if you think, I know we talk a lot about, like, the mind frame fuck. They've made it to think, like, live stream means you're not as good to broadcast or... You can't have a live audience or any... They make you kind of feel like you can't be that. Yeah. We're, like, breaking that mold. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, from what you I've... Know? Yeah. From what I've seen, it looks like we're breaking almost every mold that there is. What we're doing is very revolutionary. Yeah, actually, uh, there's been some terror readers. My mom watched a bunch of terror readers, and she was, like, they were just mentioning about our show, like, hey, listen to the Awakening Experience. Like, they literally just talked about this card this way. Oh. I'm like, fuck. That's that is pretty. Cool. People are looking at the cards way differently. Yeah. And I'm like, there's 78. I don't know how many we've done, but it's pretty gnarly. Yeah. We haven't done many. What, maybe four? No, five? I think we've done like six now or something. Six? I don't know, but actually, honestly, it was all David's idea. It was, yeah, it was my original idea, and then and then somebody in the chat was like, "You guys should do that." And then I was like, "Okay, it's a confirmation, and we'll we'll see." Yeah. It, it fucking. Because there wasn't really a whole lot of really planning. Worked. Yeah, there wasn't a whole yeah. lot of planning. I, I approached him on New Year's Eve and asked him if he would be interested in collaborating. He said yes, and there was no real plan. I no. well, I, I think I texted you in like January or February and I was just like, yo, can I get on the phone with you and we can throw some ideas around or something. And then, and then that's when you first threw the idea of picking a tarot card. Yeah. And I, I had a little bit of an idea of, of what you were talking about, but not a full, not like full deal picture in my mind of actually explaining the energy behind the card and like how the energy affects you in your daily life and right you know and it's i don't know it's fun it's really cool and i think it's awesome to hear that like there are actually tarot card readers out there who are yeah, they are who are who are listening to that and my mom listens to them all i'm not gonna say who just to make them feel oh <laughs> so, but uh, yeah yeah I, I mean, I don't... Hang on, let me set this down here. I don't want to tear a card if we were taking it the wrong way. Like, you know, it's like, we actually support so many people. That was the crazy thing I was actually telling my mom today. I was like, the amount of views that are being taken off of all the tarot community right now is insane. Like, the really good ones, too. Like, the best tarot readers are all getting their views just taken. Like, yeah, they're burying people. They're just... And that's how you're saying it. It's true. They're burying people. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And they're putting up some people that, you know, I don't judge, but they obviously are just doing it more for show than actually, like, the work. Yeah. And that's been hard. I've been like, wow. <clears throat> like, it's fucking weird. Like, they come up with, like, their little gimmicks now. I'm like, okay, that's cool. I get it. I mean, I'm the Leo King, right? Like, whatever. But I don't know. There's, like... A lot. It's more gimmicky now. If you notice, like it's not like I wear like a lion suit or something. You know, what I mean? <laughs> like we were watching some guy and he had like I don't even know his name, but he it was like I don't know. That was the weirdest dude. That one dude we watched it like I don't know. He was, like, he was sitting there and it was like all like is if I felt like he was like the at the Church of Satan. Like as if like oh that yeah. dude, I was like what yeah. the yeah, fuck's Furby? going on? Hmm? What is it when those people dress up as animals? What is that called? Like a furry or something? I don't know. You guys have not heard of that? Mm -mm. Oh, like at a festival? 
No, there's like people who actually like dress up they think oh, they're real animals. Yeah, she's talking about like a there's like a weird fetish thing where people dress up like animals. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yeah. Called, I forget what they're called, but But no, there's they're called like fur, furries or furbies or I have no idea. Furbies. No way. Yeah. But no, there there was like was it a tarot channel or something in the spiritual community where they were sitting around putting on this theatrical production like it was a seance or some silly ass shit. Oh yeah, those people I showed you. Yeah. They didn't make it either. They all like split apart right after that. Oh, well. I mean, if you really take this work and you're really doing it for like the wrong reason, it's gonna fucking boot you out quick. You might get a lot of views really quick and maybe get some 15 minutes of fame and then you're out. Well, I mean, I think there, I mean, there's so many people out there in it for the wrong reasons. But I mean, you 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 have to put your mission as your number one priority and let all that other stuff come in. Because I mean, we all enjoy it. And I enjoy right. having an audience and I enjoy making money, but like that's not- That's the, not the main, that's not the perp, like the, that that's like to continue to keep doing the yeah. work. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it's not like the money is for the money. It's like, okay, the universe will provide for you to have the life that you need to continue to do the work. Yeah. Because you always are updating the work or coming up with new things or doing something different. Yeah. That's the only way it works. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, We're going to change some fucking lives with this shit. We're going to push this show. Looking into getting some people on the show. I don't want to throw any names out there right. yet. But, yeah, we're looking. We're looking into bringing some people on the show who are very well known some of the most well-known people in the spiritual community and uh just keep pushing it that's all we i mean you know you have to just keep going you can't that was why that 10 of wands this week was so prime <laughs> yeah i'm really and it's like it's one of those things where we do the each card and it's like you know this stuff but then when you talk about it on the podcast it's like holy shit actually it really becomes like reaffirmed and like more concrete mm -hmm. as a tarot reader like you're like you already know this shit but sometimes you do have nobody's having these talks just about the cards long enough to even like people are just like coming up with their own things which i think is cool and that's what we do even on the show but i think it's just like people kind of are just be it becomes kind of like subconscious and then and then it just becomes like maybe one way of always looking at a card and then you get stuck in that one way for like a year or two years and then I mean, I'm guilty of that, too. That's, that's what I'm saying. It's yeah. like, that, that's normal. I think yeah. what we're doing is helping people go, you know what, let's look at this card differently. Mm -hmm. So then each situation, it might not be that same way. And it might, there's like so many different ways a card can be. And then what teaches you in the metaphysical space, the frequency space, the manifesting space, that's what's made the show so fucking cool. Yeah. Like that, that... That's the home run shit. And hopefully what I would like to see is, you know, there's somebody out there who actually has the talent and the skill to be able to be a tarot card reader that's worth watching. And maybe they can, you know, learn something from watching us that... That's true. It helps them get in there and, you know, become successful. Because that's one thing that I really want to do. I kind of backed off of it for a while, but helping promote people and get them, get their yeah, business up off the I ground. Know. I was doing that a lot there a couple of years ago, but it seemed like every time I would do that, I would end up looking bad because people, they, they act like they want to get into this work. And then when it's put in front of them, they don't want to do the work. I know, <clears throat> but I think it's because it's, it takes, it's not something that you do on the side. Yeah, that's I think the the yeah, or people and I feel for people. People are working normal jobs and they they love this shit, but you have to make the jump into the unknown, yeah. which really isn't a like the the feeling. And I don't think we've ever talked about it, but that feeling when you make your jump to be in the work fully, you yeah. realize it was the best move of your whole life. But at first, it's the scariest thing in the whole world. I mean, like, I'm not you know? gonna lie, like the universe had to put me through a tower moment because yeah. when my YouTube channel took off, I kept, I worked my minimum wage job for three months while I was reading tarot mm. on YouTube for the first three months when I easily could have told that dude to kick rocks. Right. And I didn't do it. Uh, I pushed and pushed until everything fell apart and I had no choice. 
But <clears throat> yeah, I mean, it can be scary, but it it uh, for me it was terrifying because I, well, I was already like it, my unemployment ran out, and then I was doing reality shows and. I thought that was going to save me, and it didn't. And then I was like, fucking, I sold everything I had on Craigslist, which was just a, my one bedroom that I was renting in a, a two-bedroom apartment with my brother and then my buddy. And then I, it was like, that was when Samsung came out with like a widescreen TV. Like, oh, my God. I remember selling that and being like, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm selling my TV. Or I'm selling my PlayStation 3 and all that. And I still have the pictures like in my BlackBerry fucking folder. Oh, shit. I sold everything I had. And was like, okay, I'm going to go just take this leap, and I don't know where I'm going to go, and I couch surfed for fucking six months. <clears throat> and that was the best thing that ever happened in my life. That's the, that's the way you got to do it. Like, that right there is the advice that I give people. Yeah, I like, know. You, you just said it. That's exactly what you do. I mean, you, it, if you think of breaking out of the Matrix, like, you literally have to break out of the Matrix. It's so weird because people think it's, like, what you do with your mind or what you do with all the... No, the physical, like, like, the Matrix that you can get stuck in. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, I'm going to lose my TV. It's like you really realize, like, if I had that TV now, it probably would have been in the trash seven, eight years ago already. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Like, all the Matrix shit just falls apart anyway. Yeah. Like, so it's like when you get out of that and then you go, it's like, I'll be honest, like, drugs were great, but the rush of the universe and the manifestation of it working and it, building your life and you following it is there's no better feeling in the world like that yeah. when when the synchronicities you follow it where you have nothing left to follow but that that's the rush of a life that's 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 the rush i'll yeah. never forget that rush for the rest of my life oh i won't either like no, when it either. like i remember just being like i have no idea how i'm gonna make it today and then and then it just turned into like okay i Wow, my PayPal has enough to transfer to my Walmart money card to be able to do this today. Like, yep. man. Yep. They don't even make those, I don't think. Maybe they do, I don't know. Because yeah, it's so funny you said that because I was doing the same damn thing. I had a Walmart money card. Walmart money card. And I'll tell you what I did. <clears throat> I uh, ended up I was having good. to leave where I was living. And I had no money. I had no nothing. And I put up one video. And I said, yo, um have no place to go right now. I have a place lined out, but I need a bus ticket. Mm. Any donations would be greatly appreciated. And I thought I was going to be sitting there waiting all day for enough donations to buy a bus and ticket. But catch the last bus or maybe catch the next day's bus. Dude, profit, 15 right? minutes, I made $2,500 from donations. I had to put a video up and say, okay, stop donating. I don't need no more. Right. That's enough. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> because they wouldn't I mean, quit coming in. That's how it really works, though. Yeah. It was crazy. Yeah, that, now I got the website. I, oh. You have to make massive edits to get it all to fit. Right? Sweet. Should I show the people? Yeah, I mean, this. I mean, we're not done with it, but this is the thumbnail. Yeah, we're getting the website put together for the show. We're pushing this show all the way, dude. All the way. All the way. As far as we can. I can't wait until we start getting regular guests. Like, yeah, I mean, it is a goal to start getting, you know, some big names on the show, yes. but it, you don't, it doesn't have to be a high profile individual. I want to get to a point where we're just regularly inviting guests on that anybody that has an important message yes. or, or a perspective that the collective needs to hear, bring them on, come in here to High Vibe and sit there at the table with us. And Yeah, just because they might be a name it's about the quality of, like, the work they do, and if it's, you know. Mm -hmm. Some some people get big, and then they get out of that synchronistic place, and then they get embedded in the matrix, and then that's, mm -hmm. that's worse than bringing on somebody in the matrix that's at least wanting to get out. Yeah. There's people who get in this, and then they, unfortunately, they get lost in their fucking shit. Yeah. And I think that's the worst is the people who get in and they're kind of naive and then they have to go through their shadow work yeah, in the middle <laughs> of being out. And then that's their shadow work of like, I have to go back in the matrix. I'm glad it was inverse. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. When you say like, wouldn't that suck? Like getting into it, having it and then like having your shadow work be the matrix, pull you back in and then you not knowing to get back out because you didn't never really went through it 
while being really trapped in the Matrix. I don't know. That's fucking gnarly. Oh, and that's why I think you see people kind of come up and then leave and then, you know, you think there's... And that's, I think, what happens to, like, Hollywood celebrities, you know? Like, they, they're good people, da 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 and then they, you can see, like, yeah. in their career, they get some big thing and then you see them change mm -hmm. and then you see them become different forever. Yeah, it's, you know, it's funny that you say that because just this morning I was sitting and thinking... Because, again, I got to thinking about my fucking car that I had to trade in. Right. And I'm thinking, okay, well, what did I learn from that? What I learned was that we always, like, we always look at the position that somebody's in, and we think we would know what we would do in that situation. I've right. never been a really materialistic kind of person. I just don't really care about things. I've had to walk away from everything and start over from scratch so yeah. many times. But I fell in love with a fucking car. Right. That's, like, not like me. And I think that, that, that like, this was a, a test. The universe giving me something materialistic that I was going to fall in love with and then test me to see if I would actually let go of it. He's such and, an Aquarius, you know? <laughs> but, like, like what you were saying, like, and it goes back to, like, the Hollywood, you know, people think they know what they would do. Oh, you know, there's that's a, true. A lot of broke people like to sit and say, oh, if I had money, I would do this, this, and this. Right. But then, wait till they get some money. Wait till they, they get some money. Yeah, they think they know what they would do in that position, and they don't. And then they get in that position, and then they see, oh, shit, this isn't as easy as I thought it would be. Like, I, that, a lot of it, too, is because of this Jamie Foxx thing. Like, what really happened? That guy is a fucking amazing actor. And then the picture's with him with Dr. Peter McCullough. And then we don't know what happened. Everybody's staying silent. People from the family are saying that fucking he's basically gone. And then they're saying, he, no, he's out playing fucking uh, pickleball. But then people are saying he's still at the hospital. It's like, and I feel bad because it's like they're saying that he got in such an outrage because he got mad that he, there was all the mandates still. Just They just took those mandates off like May 12th. So, mm. in Hollywood. Oh, wow. And he supposedly went through it and then he's, he's blind now. But that's, the, I don't know, it's speculation, but it's like now everybody's reporting that. But I feel bad because it's like, you wouldn't know. He's the kind of guy where he was actually talking about, like, waking himself up. But then, like, gosh, they fucking put that, like, well, you're not going to survive or we're not going to re-sign your contracts to get money from other movies you did unless you do this or something. Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, we don't know, right? But that, that's the kind of shit that people don't think about, like... Oh, man, or all this crazy woke situation with corporations. It's not the CEOs that want to do it, but the money that's coming in is like, if you don't do this, then you don't get the money or we'll tank the stock or whatever. Yeah. And it's like, they're not bold enough to just be like, that. that's against my moral code, so I don't care. I'll, I'll step down and I'll find some other place to go in my life. Most people won't do that. Most people will cave in. And when you cave in, that's really getting buried. It's better to be buried on YouTube by views than it is to be buried in the real the bullshit. Black by Hollywood? Yeah. Yes. Well, I think that's the whole goal of trying to wake the collective up anyways, so that collectively everybody at the same time will come together and say, no, I'm not fucking doing that. If we can right. get every fucking body at one time to do that all together, then, yeah, we wouldn't have anything to worry about. Nothing. Take this shit over. But No, and, and that's what's hard. I, I feel like... The whole awakening experience, it's a, it is an experience, you know? It's like, you, we all have a different version of it, and then we all have a similar denominator. And it's like, that's what I feel, feel the show brings together. Is, mm -hmm. But also the experience that we're putting together is to where people can start coming together to have their experiences and share with others, because that's what you and I do. Yeah. And then you always find the common, more. Yeah. But then that also makes people want to do more because this is a pretty crazy world right now we're living in. And we were all saying that for the last three years. But the last week, when when you're like, oh, okay, like, is this a PSYOP or not? Is is the alien situation real? <laughs> like, we're actually at a place where the mainstream media is like, okay, yeah, like, we are not alone. And the, the, the government is hiding that they have fucking aliens and they have spacecraft. Okay. Is it real? Is it not real? I think that this is the kind of time that we all need to start getting together and figure some shit out and start talking about it. Yeah. Like, think about it. Like, that's pretty... That's the that's the news story of a... Of a 
we always, but that's what's crazy. Maybe it is a sign because they always said once that story ever breaks in life, something will shift. Yeah. And we've just had it this week. I mean, I think it's all part right? of the plan, you know? I don't think any of it's random or accidental. I could be wrong. Whatever. No, no, no. I, 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 I. That's you just know, my I, I do feel though that there is some truth to it though. That's that's because I the astrology was like lined up with it being like no, there's actually truth to that the government is hiding it. Oh yeah, but as far as them coming out and pretending, we didn't know. Right, exactly. You know, like, and not only that, but any public UFO sightings, if if a UFO flies over a town, right, and everybody can see it, it's not real. That's fucking military right. shit. A real alien craft, like real ETs, you have to be vibrating at that frequency to be able to see right. it. So not everybody's going to see it at the same time, you know? Like that Vegas video was pretty nuts because, like, those those neighbors were like, that called the cops, were like, we're, these are, they're like 10-foot beings and they're like in our backyard. And then one of the cops on the way there saw the fucking ship and fucking the officer started tripping. It's on body cam where he's like, they're tripping. Like, what in the hell is that? And they didn't release it to the public till just the other day. <clears throat> they waited a month. And it's crazy because you could see the people talking about it that they go to the house to. They're like, they're like, they're not like tripped out. They're not on drugs. They're like in their fucking like pajamas. Like, don't even know how to tell the cops this. And even the cops asking people because he's tripping out because the one cop saw it too. And they're flipping out and they're asking people, like, did you guys, like, see some, like, lights and all that? You know, like, it's crazy. In the box, it's like watching cops. Yeah. Because it literally is like watching the old boot shop, you know, story of cops, like those shows. And and, and uh, with a UFO and fucking, like, people freaking out about it and then being like, okay, it's not like, you know, okay, some crack dealer that they're going to go bust the house or some crazy mm-hmm. person that they're kidding. You know, it's the opposite. It's the cops asking people, like, have you guys seen any lights? Because, like, no, like, I know this might sound crazy, but, like, you know, like, I'm like, what? Whoa, that's go, fucking gnarly. I gotta go watch that now. I didn't see that. I didn't even yeah, hear it. It's, it's, fucking, you didn't even tell me about it. Like, I saw it. But you you and him talking about it was when I first heard about it. I didn't even know. I saw it when we got here and I was sitting out oh. here on the couch. It's... I mean, if you think about it, like, that's pretty crazy that this week, the, you know, and the government fucking whistleblower was one of the highest intel people at... The UAP fucking investigation over 2019 through 2021. And then when they were blocking him and the government to get the access. And he had a bunch of high-ranking officials come to him and be like, hey, you're not allowed to get this, but here's some of the evidence. And I hope that you can whistleblow and get this out. And he did. I'm sure. And he's like, I'm putting my life at risk right now. And he's saying that it's our military that's hiding it and that they have the ships and that when they asked him about the bodies, he's like, and he, he, would you, I'm going to ask you this, Rich. So if, he, if a whistleblower says this, and he's the top-ranking fucking guy in intelligence, so he has access to shit that most nobody really has, and he literally goes, well, what do you think if a ship crashes and there's a dead pilot in it? Right? Yeah. And he goes, yes, we are not alone. So it's like, he won't get into specifics because of the classified documents that he had to give to fucking Congress to prove that there's secret black op operations going on that yeah. are covering it up. <clears throat> and he, he's telling the public, but he's only saying it to, like, get people to understand, like, yeah, okay, pilot of it dying, right? So, yeah. but, like, what are those beings? That's where I think it's the can of worms is, like, what if, you know, everybody's thinking, like, okay, it's about aliens, but it's, like, what if it's like, okay, maybe it's not what we think, right? Like, you know, it's making people think of the traditional way. Maybe there's something more, way freakier. Like, what if it's insects, right? Like, what if it's, right? Like, what if it's, what if it's like fucking like a different type of alien hybrid human? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Nah, I don't know. Like, I, like, like, and what if they took over the government and that's all with the AI, like what we've been seeing? Like, I really believe that. Like, if I look at Joe Biden, because it doesn't make sense. He doesn't look like Joe Biden. He didn't, like, what if that's, like, how they make, like, alien human... I mean, that's what Alex Jones was screaming fucking just last year on Joe Rogan, just like, I want to talk about human, human animal hybrids. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah, but, what if that's really what it is? 
I've been, I don't know, I've just been hearing for the past three years now that part of the plan that all this shit we've been going through is an alien invasion, UFO disclosure. So to me, it kind of just seems like it's falling yeah. right in line with everything else, but I don't know. <clears throat> I, I mean, could be wrong. I don't know. Yeah, I, I agree. I, it's just pretty gnarly that we're here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right? Like, it's, it's, it's like, it's like, that's the, we're here. So if there's any time in life to really be paying attention, it's now. Yeah, that's the re that's my goal with this show, is to like because when you look out at the population, everything is divided into little groups. Everything, right. everybody, there's little groups of of the population, and I want to be able to bridge the gap between all these groups and spirituality because spirit the spiritual community is a little group in and of itself just like all the rest of the little groups and it's like no spirituality needs to extend out and and connect to each and every one of these little groups i don't give a damn what group it is i don't care if you're a, a, a sports nerd right. there's a spiritual aspect to fucking sports yes, fitness sir. Fucking lawn and gardening. I don't give a damn what it is that you're into or what little clique or group you fit into. Like, there's a spiritual aspect to everything. Yes. So that's really what my main goal is, is to be able to, I don't care who you are. I right. don't care where you're from. I don't care what clique you fit into or what group you belong to. You can understand how spirituality applies to your life, you know? Yes. So Because that's going to be the only way that we break through this weird shit to understand what the truth is, is it's not going to be only spiritual gurus that are on hills meditating. <laughs> yeah. It's like, and it's not going to be people that are influencers that look a certain way. Like, that's what the other part is, is like, you don't want to try and look like somebody else. Yeah. Because that's actually what I think the alien shit is, maybe, right? Like, it's copycat shit. Like, that, like, and you don't want to be a copycat with your soul or, like, when you talk about frequency match, you can't copy a frequency. Yeah. If you're an original frequency, then you are your own frequency, and it doesn't matter what you are. Like, people are becoming lost, I think, in the labels of, like, well... Because I'm this, uh, that's not great. Like, you know, you love to do bonsai trees, like, right? Like, that's a hobby of yours. Like, there could be somebody that, that they think that might not be the coolest thing, but actually that might be the coolest thing in the world because it's your own unique frequency of whatever you do. So I think mm -hmm. that's where so many people are getting lost is like, do I need to look like this as an influencer? Do I need to look like this as a spiritual person, like a guru? Do I need to look like Jay Shetty? Do I need to, like, you know, like, it's like, what? Yeah. Like, nobody cares. It reminds me of Gabrielle Bernstein. Like, you know, she her first book was amazing and because it was like, oh, the spiritual junkie, because she was a junkie who became spiritual. But then she totally went into the Matrix. Ah, shit. So. Yeah. No, the awakening experience is for everybody. All walks of life. 100%. But I think, you know, that's where having a live experience besides just the show but in person yeah to where people can start coming together in the events that we're putting together for the events mm -hmm. to where you know like retreats these days have gotten kind of um copycat again it reminds me of festivals they all like try to look the same or spiritual retreats all try to look the same and it's like what it, you know it's like we're, we're gonna do it unique and different mm -hmm. That's, I think, the best part. You know, it's like, there's nothing wrong with everybody else doing it their own way, but there happens to be a lot of, like, you could just see it's like, the more that the flyer can look like this, and the way that everybody is coordinated to do this, and everybody do that, and everybody do this, and who's going to lead with a yoga thing at 6 a.m. with green juice? Like, you know, and if it's like, <laughs> you know, like, it's like, it's like, do they really all feel that way? Like, I always know there's going to be somebody in the corner hitting their jewel, their fucking, their vape. Like, you know, that's real life. Yeah. Like, that's what's, that's what's crazy is the spiritual community, I think part of it has been taken over by whatever this alien thing is. Like, mm -hmm. you know, to look a certain way to get people to go into that thing. You yeah. want to see a human out of people where human <laughs> is, shit, I fucking am, I'm going to hit my bait before I do this weird yoga thing. Or you know what? I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go lay out in the sun for a second. Or I'm going to fucking, you know, like that's the real shit. Mm -hmm. 
I, and I think the spiritual community has been taken over by like very dogmatic aspects. Like, yeah. I can't believe you didn't, you didn't do meditation today, so you're a bad person. Like, wow, oh, you don't meditate. You don't. You don't drink green smoothies in the morning. I know. You know. <laughs> Yeah, or, or, I mean, it, it, it happens at Tarot, too, or whatever like that. Like, you know, it's like, well, you know, that sign pulled this card this week, so they're just, don't, don't, don't be around them. It's just like, well. Do what now? Like, don't be around that person because they pulled that card, like bad juju or. Oh. You know, or whatever. <laughs> like, it's, it's pretty wild, like, how there's a lot of dogmatic issues coming in. Well, somebody just said the New Age is a joke. It's true. Like, the New Age has become really dogmatic. Yeah, it's turning into with an, a religion. Like, it's, it really it's is. It's own religion. Like, and again, it's just another one of the little groups. It is. Like, all the other divided groups. I know. It's just another little group. It New always, Age. It always is. It's just, <clears throat> it's, it's just that's, that's why I think the Awakening experience is showing, you, you know... You don't have to be part of that weird place. You could be your own self and be part of experiences that's just about the awakening. That's what it's about. And the awakening is not defined by one way. It doesn't mean you're glowing, floating yeah. on a cloud, meditating, oh, man. vegan, only wearing secondhand clothes from a thrift store, like all the little things. I mean, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter. No. Yeah, so. But there's a lot of that and, and that's you, happened. And you don't have to be feminine. And girly. No. You can be a masculine fucking man. That's true. And be in tune with your feelings and your energy and still be masculine. Yes. Like, that's the that's one of the biggest messages I want to get out there. You're right. <clears throat> Hi, masculine men. <laughs> oh, Bianca's here. How are you? Hello. Good. We're on a live right now, and I'm finishing a website. Good. Do you good. Um, do, uh, do you have a bunch of stuff on you, or no? No, I just brought my computer so I could work on some stuff. Oh, perfect. While you're busy. Yeah. Well, if you want to sit down, yeah, I'll sit down right here. We'll be done with the live in one sec. Oh, okay. Here, you can sit here. Hi, Leah. Hi, I thought you were. Nice to meet you. Bianca is psychic, and she is a cardology master. Mm. Cardology? Yep. Magic. Magi oh, cards, okay. destiny cards, cards of destiny, how, however you want to look at it. Cardology is... At first I thought he was trying to say cardology. That's interesting. Do you, do you, oh, both, know your, do you both know your cards? <laughs> what's that? No, I'm asking Rich and, and, and Leia if they know their cards. What do you, what's that mean? Card? I'm going to say no because I don't know what you mean. Oh, like, you know, like I'm a five of clubs, right? Like, um, you want to pull up both their cards? Mm -hmm. This will blow your mind, dude. Like, th like the cards are one of the oldest Magi aspect. And it's funny because you do tarot, right? So it's like yeah. every 52 days you come into a new card, there's 52 cards, right? But also there's so many cycles and it's all preset from your birthday. Hmm. And it literally, every day of the week, depending on which day you were born, starts from Mercury all the way to Neptune. So seven cards a week. And then it's pretty wild, dude. Like, you'll... So it's like old. Like I have old cardiology books where I had to look like in the book, like back in the day. Oh yeah, sorry. How are you? You good? I'm good. Yeah. Is the trip good? Yeah. It was awesome. <laughs> my car was kind of stuck. Blue stuck. Stuck. <laughs> I had my car so packed. Here you go. Oh. It's like a clown car. Clown town. I didn't know how uh, how many shows we'd be. Oh, yeah. Well, I know. I mean, you know, you're a Taurus. I told you, bring all the looks down. Yeah. Where did you go? I just brought every closet and stuffed it into my car. Oh. <laughs> anyway. I just found out that Rich is a generator, too, and lamp. Oh, really? Yeah. To here, uh, from Granite Bay, California. So, That's pretty oh, wild. I don't know about that. Oh, I don't know how many, how much of your audience oh. follows like Human Design too, or if they follow. I think I got a little of everybody in the audience. Yeah. I think because yeah. it's generator. like all intertwined, you know. Well, generators yeah. are like the kind of people that are like. Oh, you said you need a free, a free program that I can download, so um, you can use my newer mic to make a podcast. OBS. 
is the free program that you can use. I don't know. I asked what um, yeah. what what the profile was for him, and they didn't know. I haven't looked it up yet. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. I'm I'm really interested to see what Rich is for his profile. Yeah, everybody's saying we've come to the point of disclosure. Now we wait for it. I'm excited to see what you two are going to uncover and educate us on. That's what's kind of cool, too, is, like, there is the in-the-moment aspect of the show and what we do of, like, the shit that's happening right now. That I feel like whatever's going to be going on for the rest of this year, this show's going to evolve with that evolution and that awakening that we're all still going through. Like, there is no... You're awake. There is the awakening yeah. experience that never stops. Yeah, and that's been my, mi my yeah. mission. It's been my fucking vision for a couple of years now to integrate the tarot and, and awakening and spirituality and bridge it and extend out into all everything that's yes. happening in today's day and age. Nobody's doing that. What tarot card readers out there are, are you know... That bridging that gap of tarot and spirituality to fucking the things that are happening I know the, the current events and whatnot oh, it's a, so straight it's, up it's I know and especially <laughs> I think it's crazy that we're gonna announce our live physical live mm -hmm. event on the week of disclosure oh really that's the craziest part <laughs> yeah it's so. gonna be from the 7th to the 9th right yeah I think that's the date say yeah that, right from like, July 7th to the 9th so yeah. Yeah, the 4th is Tuesday, 5th is Wednesday, 6th is Thursday, yeah, 7th through the 9th. Yeah, it's going to be a in-person. Uh, in-person. Uh, in-person, you're going to be able to come watch a filming of the podcast in the... Yeah. And you know, have, we'll, and have an well, there's tons of events. He'll do a workshop, I'll do a workshop. We're both doing workshops. We got cool stuff, like everybody go to the beach at one point to hang out, to talking about the disclosure stuff together. Mm -hmm. Cool stuff at the studio we're going to be setting up. So that's what we're doing right now is making yeah. all that ready for people. And then for people who can't make it, they can live stream it too. So Yeah. It's going to be cool, but... Oh, uh, the way you find your own cards, just go look up Destiny cards and look up your birthday, you know. So and Leah, Leah is a four of clubs, and then um, her planetary ruler is a six of diamonds. Oh, wow. Mm-hmm. Hmm. That's well, she's the money maker, dog. Good, money? good. <laughs> Show me the money. Good. I tell her all the time, like we wouldn't be what we are without her. She is. Well, the she dog. yeah, she knows she, she knows how to figure things out. She's the backbone and the fucking blood that runs through the veins of our fucking empire. Like yeah, when when me and her met, I was nothing but a fucking lost, broken bone with a YouTube channel. She's I mean, I just saw his old you YouTube videos, like old, like <laughs> old ones. <laughs> They're the most entertaining thing. I'm like, we need to bring oh, those back. Man. I leave that up so that He's embarrassed, but I'm like, that, like, th like, I think we need to bring our most embarrassing videos and show the awakening experience to people of like, hey, if you and I were both 12 years ago right at these spots and we're here now, you can definitely go wherever you gotta go. Cause like. Okay, yeah. yeah. I, I think that's what's missing is the humble truth of like, people are afraid of like to expose who they were. And that's yeah, what no. makes the show so good. That's the whole. Th I know. Because like, that's that, the, like, again, that's another fucking prime example as to who's in it for the wrong reasons. I'm right. not here to paint a false picture in your mind. Like, I went through it. There's right. nothing I'm hiding about me. Like, I, I want you to see that this is where I was. Like, there's nothing. You can't tell me nothing that I'm not willing to fucking. I'll put everything about me on a billboard. Right. I was a fucking strung out stupid drug addict. You know what I'm saying? Right. I was a deadbeat dad. I lost my kids and lived under a bridge. I was an alcoholic, you know, I attempted suicide. There's nothing you can you can't you can't throw nothing in my face cuz I'm fucking open about it. And people need to see that so that they understand, "Oh, whoa." So, and that really is transmutation just <clears throat> the full living example of it. Mhm. Mm Which to be honest, I really wasn't even thinking of that word and there was a long time, I just thought that was just being like, just just like divine true to yourself. But transmutation with the understandings that you've been teaching make way more sense and much more of a better way to take situations in the moment where you don't wait five years to understand that you're transmutating the energy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if you could understand transmutation in every level of life in the moment, 
you can transmutate something that would normally take you a decade, five years, and go, boom, instantly mm-hmm. transmutate into something good fast. Most people you aren't know, transmuting instead, anything. Yeah. That arc becomes too long sometimes, I think, for yeah. people. I mean, that's what why so many people are here on the karmic wheel, because they're not transmuting anything. They're not doing anything with their energy. They just let it set idle and don't do anything with it. So right. it's fucking unfinished business, and they're stuck on the karmic wheel until they do I something know. with it, you know? But. Do you have paper, David? Yes, uh, in the printer. <laughs> Where? We looked at everywhere. In, in, in that office, uh, oh, right here. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. In, the, in the admin office, yes. Oh, those are and fucking the, badass. I know. I was I was thinking because of the, for the website, for the app part, like, oh, th- that I'm going to do it with the Matrix shit. Yeah. <laughs> Those like are it. fucking awesome, dude. I know. I was just, I was just didn't didn't know which one you liked. I don't know. They're all fucking badass. I know. I, this one right here is the one really yelling at me. But that one's cool yeah. too. I don't know. I, I that one's in like bluish, which we could turn into like a different color too. If because I, I kind of like the whole matrix thing, yeah. and I like the light. So oh, like yeah, actually that goes with the other one. That's the middle one. Yeah, would you that, be able to like turn that into a blue? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. No, that actually makes sense with the light because that matches the person on the other one going through the fucking same. Yeah. Transmutation. <laughs> really, the matrix, the, if you think of the code, is them transmutating that matrix to be able to see through the code to see what's in there. Like when they're looking at the computers, they're transmutating the code and seeing the visual. That's what we're all doing in the, when we're seeing our frequencies and where mm-hmm. the better frequency and timelines are going. We're transmutating this timeline to another. It's not jumping. It's taking what this one is and transmutating yeah. it to another. Really, that would be a that would be a crazy talk for us to talk about. I mean, that's the what I, I plan. We could do a transmutation like talk because that's what's weird is that words going around about transmutating in so many different ways. But it's almost kind of like a way of like thinking minimal, like oh, yeah. your body or whatever, instead of. Well, your spiritual self and, and all that stuff. Yeah, my, my, the next, the next pay-per-view video I'm doing on High Vibe is going to be the neuroscience and how yeah. your brain works like yeah. a radio. Yeah. Like, literally the science, the neuroscience behind how your brain is tuned into a certain frequency and tuned into specific things. Like, and how to reprogram it from a neuroscientific perspective. That's going to be the next one, so. I think that's the most important one that you're dropping at this moment too if you think about it if there really are if there it doesn't matter if it's fake psyop or not the fact that they're fucking putting that out there means we all need to be fucking equipped Mm -hmm. right now because they're using that link to try and fuck with our frequencies yeah no matter what it is they're gonna they're gonna put things out that are gonna twist things and you have to be able to understand it within yourself so you don't get caught up. You're gonna have to be 10 steps ahead. Okay, so that's your house. That's fucking trippy. Mm-hmm. That actually is another interesting thing about you getting ready to drop that one because that is so important for these moments. Because it's like, I feel like they're gonna come out with a way to try and tweak people's frequencies without them knowing. Cause that's what's happening in their lives every day. But this is gonna be- They've been doing that. The like, the, you know, the brain's so... We, we don't even know about the whole brain, right? Mm-hmm. But if you think that some of those back deep pockets of subconscious and repressed stuff, they're like getting like tentacles all the way back there, yeah. and now they're really going to dial in some weird shit. They've been hitting us with fucking frequencies for years. What do you... The, your phone right, exactly. puts out frequencies on purpose to lower your vibration. And like everywhere, it's, you, it, it, yeah, it's fucking the, beyond. Yeah, so cell phone towers so spraying these frequencies I, it, all it's over. It's fucking nuts. Bro. Yeah, it's fucking. Anyway, I know. I anyway, just, well, I, I, and, and that's what's what is better than all that is when you're in person with people and everybody starts being their unique frequency, but coming together, no cell phone tower can beat mm-hmm. the power of the human frequencies together mm-hmm. <clears throat> when you think about it, of it i mean that's kind of what's weird is almost like the technology is kind of like the reflection of the human but like if you notice with the computers they need to be interlinked right like they can't just be alone 
They have to have power. They have to have fucking internet by LAN or by Wi-Fi in order to even understand what the fuck's going on and communicating. And then they have pieces within themselves, like processors and hard drives and stuff. We all have organs. They have organs. But they all need the Neuralink. And what's crazy is right now, the fucking AI or the computer or the alien aspect, which I think it's all tied into the same thing. Because I think technology ever since Roswell, right? Like, we were capable of fucking creating microchips. Oh, absolutely. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, yeah. Like, fucking, oh, yeah. like, so obviously that's part of it. If the, the whole thing is about the spaceships and the technology, that's the main thing. That's where people have to realize if the computers are doing it, no problem. It's not like a computer's talking to a computer and having a disagreement. I could they're be. on the. I mean, they could be, but they're, <laughs> and that that happens with IP addresses and all that. But usually, though, if you notice how easy it is, like, mm -hmm. once in a while, if I try to airdrop you something, it might not come through. But that's like, humanity's at where we're not even trying to airdrop to each other much. We're not even trying to connect much. Yeah, yeah. That's that's the whole point. Is mm -hmm. like the technology, the alien technology, is winning because it it it's work it's working together. It's, it's yeah, yeah. Wow, and, I didn't and, think about it like this. Right, and that's why I think. The show, the experience, yes. and bringing people together is we have to beat it in that way. It, it's like mm -hmm. you can focus on your own self. That's the most important thing. But it also is, and that builds your own spiritual self. So if you inverse it to not be a computer, because I don't want to refer us to fucking computers. I'm referring them to trying to copy us. <laughs> right? Like, But it's like, yeah. when we get together, then that makes it like to where they're like, man, I need some like physical cord plugged into me, and I need a Wi-Fi antenna, and I need all these, you know what I mean? I need the towers to be working. But it's weird because it's like the technology is like taking the humans over to work for it and build, the, build them their little fucking world. Mm -hmm. That's fucking trippy. Anyway, though. Yep. yep, it's gonna be f July seventh through the ninth. We're gonna. I'll be announcing it. We'll both be announcing it. Oh yeah. You know how to get the tickets so that y'all can come out and hang out with us and you know have some fun. So. Yes, it was good to be on your your show with you right now. Just <laughs> Absolutely. Having fun and we're we, you know just even behind the scenes like we're the way we are on the show we are behind the scenes. Yeah. Having fun and he brought his guitar in here and we recorded some of his music today and been jamming out because that's what i personally as a friend i want everybody to see his music <laughs> not many people know i'm a musician and he was like well i haven't really been inspired i'm like why have the mu we're in the music studio right now i'm like bring the guitar next time and then he did and then we brought it out and we start i was just like oh my god and then he played me a song from him 12 years ago and i'm like you need to fucking re-record that song it's fucking insane actually we'll just yeah, a lot of people don't know. He's like a fu he is a superstar. I hope you all know that. He's a fucking superstar. Even watching his old videos, I'm like, how is how are you not like the top fucking reality like star back in the day? Like I'm not even kidding. Like I'm like that was you were so innovative before it even It's crazy, bro. It fucking today today blew my mind with you. I and I already get blown all the time. But when I saw that shit today, I was like, this is fucking gold. Like it's fucking gold. Because I was a fucking mess back then. So I was in a dark a fucking place. I know, dark but you place. could you were pushing your light out still. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But so. it, it it blew me away. <laughs> so embarrassing as fuck. He man. gets embarrassed, but you know, like I'm I'm like, damn, like that his songs like <laughs> Yeah. And he writes them all himself and mm -hmm. it's fucking crazy. That other song that you did, the one that you fell, that one yeah. All three. All three. The one that you're doing right now, the one that fucking was from 12 years ago with the music video, and then the one that you were singing fucking multiple times. That one, too. All three of them are gold. There's not one better than the other one. Yeah. Yeah, those are the last three songs I wrote, and then I just pretty much put it down and quit. That's Most people don't know I'm a musician. I've been playing guitar my whole life. And, and writing and singing. And writing and singing. But I lost the passion for it when I was in my early 20s and I put it down and every time I try to pick it back up I just don't feel that fire anymore so I just haven't touched it forever you I know? mean and that happens but that's when somebody hears that like me and I'm like bro <laughs> bring that thing over everybody's yeah. saying they want to hear you play <laughs> <laughs> yeah we'll uh We'll get yeah, some well, tracks actually, later. part of part of the event is he's gonna play the guitar. Yeah. Maybe I don't want to put that out unless he's uncomfortable doing it. I mean, it I don't mind doing it. That's fine. That's totally. You fine. know what I mean? So, 
if we can get a good but setup. He fuck, yeah, and we well, you know, and we can get the with the with the speed, dude. That is that sick. Get a good setup on that stage. Like, yeah, like beyond sick. <laughs> cool. That's what we all need, though. Yeah. I mean, a lot of it's the knowledge drop, but then the other of it is the ability for our own souls to connect and have fun and be in the same energy. Mm -hmm. Trust me, hanging out and watching Rich play is fucking worth the time. <laughs> it's going to be fun. I'm looking forward to it. So, you know what I mean? Yeah. So. Well, everyone, yeah. It's fucking. Well, you want to show them this last one that we're doing? Now? Yeah, yeah. Um, that one's fucking cool. Yeah, that's badass. I love that. that Can I one? zoom? Yeah. It's fucking awesome, dude. That one's dope. Yes, I love that. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Oh, we got a super chat. Who's that? Sweet girl for you, 247. Thank you for that nice. super chat. Appreciate you. Greatly appreciate you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. It's maybe nice we should morning. do this from time to time. Like, I know. There, there's a few things that I'm wanting to add to our little like routine and schedule and whatnot. I know. Maybe a, a live behind the scenes chat once the, a week. The Leo, the Leo King's gonna be getting up early, starting Monday. Yeah, he's about to be a new daddy, so he's. I have to make the change. <laughs> he's got to make some changes to his schedule. When's the baby due? August. August tenth. So August tenth. Two months from, two days from now. Yeah. So. All right, y'all. Well, we're going to go ahead and get out of here. Appreciate y'all for tuning in. Enjoy the rest of your day.